Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 141 of Don't Start Reign of Giants. The last episode, we dealt with the Hound Yashudius, which is a first. Also spammed a whole bunch of bee boxes, and I have a couple of butterflies we need to go ahead and drop off. So, we have six days until summer. That gives me a little bit of time, I guess, to go caving. However, really quick, what I want to do is before we go caving, we need to make... I like, have a pre-crafted crock pot and have the resources to maybe make like another one. So I'm probably going to want to have like two things, uh, a taffy, uh, two potential taffy makers there. I want to be able to produce taffy very fast. So why don't we have like two crock pots available to me, which requires stone. And I know I can go caving, but right now we're on the surface. Summer is about to hit and there are plenty of glaciers to be had. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of a little bit of those mined up. Get some rocks. Get some ice. Maybe put that in an ice box. Probably gonna make another ice box at this point. I've uh, <laughs> this thing's been full for the longest time to the point where it's a wee bit ridiculous. Let's go ahead and slap this down, and there is the Hound of Shootiest, guys. I think it's so cool. <laughs> it's so goofy. I, I want to spam them, but of course we can only have so many in my world. Attack the butterfly for me. Can, can you not reach him? Yeah, well, obviously can't reach him over here. So I could just, uh, I mean, like, basically when I'm just, like, holding control F and there's things, oh, uh, rest in peace is that wall. And you can take control F walls, but I'll let the wall break. But, like, when you're holding control F and you're attacking butterflies, he will go after the butterfly for you. Of course, I made the mistake of shooting the wall, and the same does apply to those, so he's going to finish that wall. <laughs> now let's see if I repair it if he continues to do such. Uh, we still need to make another set of walls anyway because we have to raise these up so I don't feel overly bad about what I just did you're not gonna attack him when I parrot are you okay okay we, we learned something so he's not gonna break that now we know you wanna attack that there you go see this is what I'm talking about let's go ahead and destroy butterflies that way so we're, we're getting a little bit moist let's go ahead and throw on the umbrella now I don't wanna don't wanna get wet but I wanted to get a bunch of sanity back so I need to start eating some of this food we've got a Ridiculous surplus. Let's finish this off. And that should be... Oh, no, no, we need one more. That's because he broke it all the way, I guess. That should be it. Perfect amount. <laughs> it was kind of a kind of not bad that I broke that. Whatever. It evened itself out. Let me mine a few more... Oh, let me equip that pickaxe. Let me mine a few more of these rocks here, these glaciers. I've got 12 rocks. I know there's, I know there's rocks in the uh, caves where we're about to go, but... You just get these things before summer hits, because... Summer being six days out means these glaciers are going to go bye bye There's not going to be any more in the way of ice on the surface. Not for a little bit. It's going to all be melted. And yeah, that sounds good. We do need to get a fling of matic up there. Which is going to require 15 ice anyway. We need to get a fling of matic by those bee boxes. It just doesn't feel right to leave them there. They're all going to go up in smoke. Not to mention the flowers there. That had to go up in smoke. That's not something we want. Let's go ahead and eat the butterflies and stuff. So... Take the doodad, because we're going to need the doodad. What else do we need? I always forget the recipe for two doodads, two ice, two gears. Okay, so we should have gears galore. And I need to make another cut stone for the doodad. Alright, so let's go get two gears and we're good to go there. I can leave this stuff be. There should be no problem on that front. I should eat this jerky, but I can also use this. I mean, sanity, or sanity, sanity can be restored through the jerky, but it can also be restored through the honey. And I think the honey's easier to mass produce. So that's, that's why I'm doing that over jerky. You go ahead and pick up these gears. We've got a ridiculous amount. Pre craft a fling matic We've got that ready to go. Screw it. Why don't we make another ice box? I thought it was a board, but I'm wrong. How, for some reason, I always think it's a board. Then just make another one of these and uh, relocate some of this garbage just so I can plop that on the ground right beside it. Because it's been long overdue. We can make one of these just, like, completely dedicated to ice. I mean, I sh should have made a bunch of these to begin with sooner. But just spam the ice in here, and again, it'll stay forever. We have officially freed up this ice box to have that much more room. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, boards. Thought I had room for it, but I think I used them. Let's go ahead and plop these in here. People of wool don't need right now. Uh, an ice box would be a good idea to have with me down where we're going. Let me just you know, throw one down. So I will prototype yet another one. And while I was down there at the Krampus farm, the old Krampus farm, 
Uh, it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead and pick up some of the charcoal, because we do need six. Yep, six to make another one of these. I don't have enough rocks right now to make what I want, because we've been kind of using them all. Let me check my supply. I'm pretty sure I'm out. Might end up mining what's left down in the cave. I don't know. I wanted to get the, I wanted to get those glaciers. Got this all pretty quick. Six days left. Six days left. I gotta be careful, because I don't like coming back to my base, and then not, my fling automatics not being activated. I just doesn't feel right. So I always get nervous about that. I'll probably come home like right before summer hits just to turn them on. It's a, it's a precaution. It just it makes me feel safe. So we are down here for charcoal, which you know what? We can actually take this home. We have spots for that. I can go ahead and use this right now. Eh, screw it. Might as well use it. It's 4% waste, but I think I'll get over it. I'll take that and let's get back up here. So this is going to require quite a few twigs to make that extra crock but six to be exact, and then the three rocks. So why don't I go ahead and harvest some more grass just before we go down there? And then I love how fast these things come back during spring. Oh, it's so good. I have to make ourselves another torch. So let's go over my go over my stack of grass here. We'll get that back and twigs, of course. So it's good old spring and it's raining and it's killing my torches. So we can't go get beefalo. We can't uh, go get beefalo wool right now. We'll have to do that during summer. As risky as that is with everything combusting, I like to go, like to go get some beefalo wool to prepare for summer. But it's not a good idea right now. Now, I, for some reason, I, I threw all of my hound teeth in here. I guess we're just going to stick with that. Also, that rocky turf. Yes, you are indeed protected still. Just wanted to check that and make sure we're good on that front. Rocks, none in here, right? Just two, so <laughs> basically none. Let's make another torch because we're definitely going to go through it. And of course that means let's go ahead and pick two of these up. So, we're getting ready to go to the caves. And I'm going to bring... I should repair the umbrella because we're technically not going to use the tambo shanter there. So this is a wee bit of a waste, but I want to have this thing ready to go. Pickaxe is about to break, I got enough logs. Tambo Shanter, our lights. I will bring Taffy, obviously, for my... Taffy's gonna be kind of my food source, and... Eh, if nothing else, we can kill lobster, not lobster, we can kill spiders while we're there. So, do we want to whip up some Taffy before we get there? Nah, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Honey's gonna last longer. Alright, I will bring... Take my torch off. I will bring six... Six of these, because we're only, we're only gonna need six. And we're going to need to go get some rocks. Inventory is a wee bit messy. I don't need a pitchfork where we're going. Put that way in the tool chest. Uh, I'll make some fires more than likely, so I'll bring that. Flint can go in the flint chest. I'm going to split the stack. We don't need that much. I'll bring the rocks because we're going to use them all. Just making sure our inventory is ready to go before we come back. Because we're not going to be back here for a little bit. And let's fill up my belly on monster meat. I'll just bring this. We're going to eat it. Go ahead and eat this now. Or, here's a better idea. Put this stuff on the rack. Why is it not going on the rack? Oh, it's cooked. Derp! Derp! Eh, we'll eat this in no time. Alright, let's go over there. Let's go set up a mini base camp. And I think the one we were going to is right here because it's closest to a portal. It's actually really easy to get home from that one. So, we'll bring the taffy. And we'll go, we'll go do a little bit of caving here just before summer hits. And then we'll come back. There's, of course, some things I need to do when we get back. I need to relocate this nest. Apparently, when the bulb is on the webs, that's when you run into the problem. See, what what I thought happened was if the eye plant... Like, the eye plants couldn't pop up when there was webs there, so no. It appears that when the bulb is on the webs, the nests, then it can't produce the eye plants. So we need to relocate it. And we'll do that later. And that should be more than enough taffy. I mean, I don't really know how much taffy we're going to need for this, but that should be good. Tambo Shanter, I should wear it now because we're going to lose some sanity doing this. That's for sure. Hey, Tumbleweed. Yes, please. What do we got? Well, okay. Works for me. I'll use it as fuel or something. <laughs> Whatever. Is there any flowers that I can go ahead and just pick up real quick for a quick boost? There certainly is. Alright, 73. So, when we break this, do we want to wall this off? Because, uh, I guess we'll worry about it later. We just, we're going to test it. We're not going to bring any rock lobsters up to the surface. 
And if they start spawning, well then, it was never meant to be. The hope is they don't. <laughs> so, let's go down here. I can actually go ahead and refine two out of three needed cutstone. Ah, uh, well, you know what? We're not guaranteed to get rocks right there at the entrance immediately. Let me just get three rocks right here. Ah, oh, balls. Let's go ahead and make our new next pick. It was, it was, it was necessary. Surprisingly low on gold. I wasn't paying attention to that, but we've got more than enough for what we're going to be doing here. Just a preliminary exploration run. Put this back in my backpack. That's my emergency hat for a rainy day. <laughs> like last episode, I got, I got my ass beat. I really, cause I really wasn't paying attention. Let's make all three of these now. That's more than enough. I went overboard. Derp. Whatever. I wasn't paying attention to how many resources I had. Go figure. But, new cave. New cave. What does this cave have in store for me? Did we did we get shafted on anything in the last cave? Was there anything I was particularly missing? I think we got a pretty good variety of everything. I don't, I don't really think we got overly unlucky in any regard. Sometimes you just don't get all the resources you'd want. Um... It would be a good idea to put one of these here. I could also just put a thermal stone in a, an ice box. But let me let me see here. Uh, going left is probably not going to yield any of the light bulbs we want. So first things first is right now. Let me see if I can find light bulbs. And then we'll worry about setting up a little camp. So we're going to wear this. This is going to completely... There's light bulbs. We're good. Wearing the, the umbrella is going to completely mitigate any and all wetness issues during spring. I have to be very careful. I have zero protection right now. No no spiders. No rock lobsters. I don't know where rock lobsters are. It's a little bit of a dangerous situation at the moment. Sadly, I cannot wear my miner hat. I could, I could alternate between them. Like, yes. I have to watch my wetness. That'd probably be a better idea. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to you, sir. I just heard you. I don't need this ice. Should have got rid of that. So, let me go ahead and get this on. Because this is going to give me a bigger light radius. And then what I'll do is put my walking cane. And then, of course, when my wetness gets to that point, we'll just swap back over. And is this a little biome? This is a little rinky-dink little light bulb biome. By light bulb 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 but I only use it for the light bulbs. So that is kind of good that it's so close, but it also sort of sucks. Well, now that we know there's a light bulb uh, farm over there, we can go ahead and throw down our, our crafting stuff. I hear rock lobsters. Please, rock lobsters, don't. Just don't. 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 No, don't go to the surface. Alright, so I don't feel bad about putting down my little crock pot thing here and all that good stuff. My ice box. Which is going to house my taffy, which I'm not going to make taffy first. I'm going to gonna keep it in honey, because honey lasts the longest. But we're going to use that to keep our resources around for longer. There we are. So I made an extra cut stone. Might be. Things happen. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to go ahead and get eight out. And then, I mean, I know, I know you can use a twig, which, eh, honestly, I don't have that many twigs. But there's taffy. I say I don't have any twigs, I have 30, but you know I like to have a full stack at all times. But that should be really quick taffy. Taffy shouldn't take long. At least I don't think. It might because it's a wet crockpot. I, I don't know if actually uh, a crockpot being wet affects it in that regard. I'll put the ice in here because it'll keep forever. But let me get my three taffy real fast. Get my sanity back up normal. Wouldn't be a bad idea to make a little bit more. I could just make another crockpot too. Watch the hat, watch the wetness. So we can go ahead and mine these, get some rocks, and maybe even make another crock pot. So take like three taffy with you for the trip and then go. Taffy does not last long. That's why I'm not making a boatload of it. Not, not like meat, does not last long at all. And uh, that's enough rocks to make another one, but I didn't bring the charcoal. Uh, we could plant some pine cones. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I think I might do that as well. Oh, there's some gold. Definitely needed that for the tools. Let's go get our taffy. Sanity is pretty low. I can feel the color changing on the screen. There we are. So we're gonna we're just gonna want to load this up with uh, <laughs> load it up with honey. So here you can see minus three, 25 hunger, which isn't bad, and then 15 sanity. So the health is less than stellar, but it's obviously super easy to get that back. I mean, you could even eat light bulbs if you wanted to. 
Uh, go ahead and do this. There we are. There we go. We've got two even eight stacks. So you go ahead and just throw this in here, cook it, and do this over and over again. Super easy sanity. You could you could eat green mushrooms. You could do other stuff, but this is always at the ready, which is what I like about it. So sanity is good. Let's move. Wetness is still doing okay. Let's start mapping this place out and figure out where we're going. All right, got some more light bulbs right here, which is what I like. And give me them light bulbs. The more light bulbs, the better. I don't need no waterlogged guano. Get out of my inventory, waterlogged guano. I don't have a fire down here yet. Uh, did I leave a fire? Yes, I did. Yes, I did leave a fire in my old cave. I could totally bring it over if I wanted to. Probably would be worthwhile. Ooh, what do we got over here? Extra rocky turf, that's what I see. All I see is rocky turf, and then I see cobblestone roads. So this is going to be a little bit of a dead end. So I'm going to go ahead and explore this cave, see if we can find anything good and useful, obviously. And if we do, we can take it back home. If we don't, so be it. We'll have to find the ruined entrance. Eventually go in there, get some more full sight. It'll be a grand old time. That is a rather awkward way to get to this biome. Just the way that the path is. It's all crooked. Seems weird. Seems really weird. So right now I don't have anything to get sanity back with. I didn't bring my taffy, so I gotta, I gotta be careful. Oh, there's some trees here. We could go ahead and burn them down if I want the charcoal. Do we want to do that? Protect us, tree. No, we're not that wet. Then the trees are wet, so they shouldn't spread too much. We need six. I don't want to burn any berry bushes. We could burn this little, little grouping of trees. Let's do that. Catch on fire. Uh, I should be able to go with these three as well. So just go ahead and burn these down. And that will help me with my charcoal problem. <laughs> also my light problem. So I can see now. That's good. Go ahead and keep this ready. We're going to have to swap over to the lantern shortly here. Let the wetness go back down. That's pretty much what I'll be doing here is swapping between like a mining hat so I can keep the walking cane equipped and then the lantern. Or uh, the lantern. And the umbrella so I can use the lantern. That is the goal. Okay, I don't need, I don't need the grass. And I can go ahead and refine... Yes, I do have enough of this. We're good there. Go ahead and make another crock pot. Works for me. Works for me. Okay, so let's get the Lazy Explorer back on. 21 wetness. We're not at 30, so I can I can wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Already down to 78 sanity. You can see how fast it goes. So taffy is going to be, or honey is going to be something we just burn through. That's why I really want to get a bunch of ice boxes. Yeah, not ice boxes, bee boxes and then fill up the ice boxes. So as tempting as it is to feed you guys and utilize you as allies, right now I'm gonna refrain from it. I don't wanna risk bringing you guys up here. If I have to, I'll try to bring the, uh, <laughs> I'll try to bring depth worms to you. I'll do my best not to bring you to them. Just, I don't need another rock lobster incident. And I'm mining these because, well there's like three of them, plus I can use the rocks, so that's good. Wetness is getting up there. It's not a 30 quite yet, but I'll do this just to be safe. So as you can see, now wetness will start going down, and it's a good time overall for me. What do we have up here? What do we have up here? Is this a dead end? No, it's connecting right to another biome. So again, the biggest thing I need to do is just keep monitoring sanity, make sure everything is fueled up and ready to go. And we should be able to get by no problem with Taffy. Of course, we're, we'll take a little bit of damage, but again, food, food will fix that. Am I, am I find usually in these biomes is the ones where I find uh, like the little little the, like the camps that that are naturally created. There's like an ice box and a chest. I don't think I have ever found one of those where all of the stuff in the ice box wasn't already rotted. So it's like I found it, but I found it really late. Uh, wonder if I can find one of those before that happens. So I mean, the taffy is kind of belittled by the green mushrooms here. Granted, you're not always guaranteed to have these, and they don't last very long. The beautiful thing about taffy is, or honey, to taffy, if I put the honey in the ice box, it's going to stay forever. Yes, these things stay planted forever, but they're not right next to your entrance every time. So, I mean, eh. I like having the option of being able to move from the taffy. So these biomes don't connect. However, there's a ridiculous amount of light bulbs here, which I am perfectly okay with. So that is good. 
67 sanity. We could head home before we get too far out of here. But let me just run up here. I think we can make it. Let me just see what we got going on. How far does this biome go? Should have brought my taffy. If I need to, I can just eat some green mushrooms. Duh. In fact, why don't we just do that? I only pick two of these. That's more than enough for now. And if I need to throw down a campfire, we'll do that. We shall do that. Light bulbs. Gimme, gimme. How about... How about natural camp? Let me find you before you die. Come on. Before all the stuff in it rots. Give me a natural a cave spawn thing, whatever they're called. Little, little explorer camps. What else are... What other set pieces are there? I'm trying to think. Like in the caves, I think that's the most common one I've encountered. I don't know if there are any other unique ones. Eh, considering the sanity, I'll pick up another one of those. I'm, all, I'm only aware of the little miner camps. Hmm. I guess sometimes, yeah, I mean, you find a skeleton with stuff next to him, but I'm talking, like, with structures and cool stuff like that. It seems to be the only time I ever see him. Eh, that's the only kind I've ever seen. Maybe that's the only one. So I have... Yep, this is this is a dead end. I've mapped this out. Let me start cutting into the middle here and make sure there's no slurtles or anything like that, which I really do doubt. But again, I wanted to explore it on my mini-map. Hello, depth worms. It's already time for depth worms. However... We're very, very close to rock lobsters. If I can get lucky and have them fight without me having to instigate, that'd be great. I'm probably going to have to be the one to instigate, though. Miss me, please. Okay, I get some off my butt for a little bit. That way I don't lose any sanity. But let's try, let's take him down to the rock lobsters. See if he'll duke it out with them. Uh, again, I do not want to feed them. Even though if you let them go, if you, you don't go to the surface when they're your friends, they should stop following you. I don't know if I want to risk that. Also, I can't tell if he's still following me, so I'm going to pay attention to the ground while I pick up rocks. Hey, moleworm. <laughs> I could pick you up and make moguls out of you. Or I could just kill you and make a morsel. That's the funny thing about moleworms falling from the sky. <laughs> They're easy food. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be nice to let him, let him go make a burrow. I, I don't need to kill him. Looks like the depth worm let up, so why don't we just go back home really fast? And I'm going to go get that taffy. I'm going to cook these up, eat them, get the taffy, and then we're going to continue exploring. That way we can venture out further. There seems to be a lot of green mushrooms in this cave, though. There was not that many in my old one. Not this close to the cave entrance, anyway. Also, I'm pretty sure there are battleists over here, so please do not aggro on me. I don't, I don't feel like killing you. No, I hear you're flapping your wings, but don't come after me. Nope. There he is. There he is. Man, I'm surprisingly far away from this. This cave entrance. And again, I'm not using my lazy explorer, so we're walking pretty slow. I dislike not having the movement speed buff. This is precisely why I'm not wearing a piggyback right now. Oh, God. That, that 25 movement, 25% 25 speed from this is huge. It's so good. This taffy is pretty poor off. Uh, that's kind of what happens. It doesn't last long. Let me go ahead and eat this. Now, what we need to do is we need to get a little campfire down here. I'm going to make a fire pit, considering the amount of rocks we've got now. I don't feel bad about using one. That way I can just, you know, keep it fueled and use it. Bye-bye, shadow creature things. You'll be disappearing here as soon as I eat this stuff. There you go. Down we go. Let me go ahead and get two more taffy going. So we got our eight stack ready. There we go. Cook. And then we'll take the remaining taffy and we'll go caving with what we've got. That should get me that should get me explore a little bit. So we already figured out that that's a complete and utter dead end. There might be something here, but we've got a dead end already. Surprise. That's what I'm good at. Do I need to refuel anything? No. Light bulbs keep on my person. I would like to eat this monster meat stack to get rid of it. I could put this in here. I'm not going to eat that right now. Let me put that in there and let it stay fresh for a little bit. Lazy Explorers at 55%. I'm not trying to accidentally use it. It's just kind of happening. Ah, uh, the misclicks are real. All right, Wet Crockpot, let's go. It's, a, it's, almost, it's been almost ready 12 times, Weber. I don't think it's almost ready. All right, give me that. And this one was a little bit behind. Good to go. So we got a bunch of sanity here. We got 60 sanity at the ready. And uh, we're going to go back up here. I think we'll explore up there first because we've already kind of mapped out most of it. 
But it's uh, time to wrap the episode up, guys. So this was episode 141. We've got four, three, three, mm, three days now left to explore before summer hits and I head back to the surface. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.